So, this is Exam Cafe. First thing you need to do is head into uh, Moodle for the Mira OCR GCSE Spanish Higher um, book. You can, of course, get this on the Spanish Foundation book as well. Now, just to remind you to get into here, uh, there's a shortcut that's on a bit.ly, which is bit.ly slash MFL online books. You can see it come up there at the top. If I click into that, it will take me into exactly the same place um, as I just was, as you can see. So we're on the Spanish higher, and all I do is drag it down. You can see all of your modules that are here, and at the bottom it says Exam Cafe. Click into Exam Cafe and enter. Opens up the Exam Cafe. I always close this side bit down because it makes it a little bit bigger and easier to see. And then you can see the areas of the Exam Cafe that you might like to go into. First of all, let's have a quick look around here. So we've got tools and tips. This gives you ideas about how you might uh, use a revision timetable and exam checklist, how you might eat for success and planning your revision. Of course, that's not just that's not just Spanish. Uh, this is going to be everything, isn't it? So I'm just going to close that out. No, nope, I don't want to close it out. I want to go on to uh, Ed. Ed's pleased that he's famous now because yeah, he knows that he's going to be on YouTube. There you go, right, good. Or we can go into a revision which is where I'm going to show you around a little bit more. So first of all, we can improve our grammar. That's not what we're going to do today. Improving our grammar is just going to take us, as it, as it says there when I move over it, links to student book grammar pages. Where I want to go is learn your vocabulary. So if I go in here, first thing I can do is see my word list. And if I click on any of these, it will show you the exact same word list as we looked at a little bit earlier on in the lesson. That's not what we want to look at at the moment. I can go back there, and if I click that Learn Your Vocabulary again, you'll see this bit where it says Download Word List Audio Files. And if I click on there and then Word List Audio from Module 1, it will open up, it will download a zip file here, which when I open up the zip file, you get these things here. Página 22. Palabras. Alemania which all this is doing is just going through in English and Spanish Argentina. all of your words that are on the same form, that are on the same page as we looked at before. So those ones that are here, learn your vocab, see word lists, open the word list page, these words here are the ones that they were just going over um, as an audio file so you can listen to it and as I mentioned to a couple of the boys earlier on because they're audio files you can presumably if you can figure out how to do it download it onto your phone or onto your iPod and listen to it at all times when you walk in uh, anywhere you want you could be listening to, to Spanish words which is a fantastic way to and I'm sure that's what you're all doing when you're walking around the school site with your earphones and you're actually listening to um, Mira words aren't you that's fantastic it's, it's, it's great um, it's just great to work with you wonderful people so, moving back, that's the Learn Your Vocabulary. We've got the Interactive Grammar Practice, which if you wanted to, you could go into, and it's got interactive activities that you could do. Still worthwhile to understand verb tenses as you go into the listening and reading exams because appreciating what they sound like and what they look like is going to help you understand what they're talking about because you do get questions about are they referring to the past, the present, the future, or it might help you to understand it otherwise. So it's still important to know your grammar. Let's just click out of that um, and then go back. And last thing, we've got get ready for your, and it's got reading exam, listening exam, writing assessment, and speaking assessment. Some of you will still want to look at the speaking assessment stuff. Some of you, the, those of you doing it next week, will still want to look at the, the writing assessment. But it's got stuff about the reading exam and the listening exam, things to help you as well. And if you open it up, download, it can give you some tips about those exams. So do have a look around the exam cafe section uh, on the online book.